Good day, good day everybody and once again we are back together. Right, we're still continuing on the application of the sine and the cos rule. So if you haven't subscribed, please make sure that you do the right thing. And of course, if you need some assistance with maths and science, our services are available. You can contact us and all the information that you need will be on the description of this video. All right, so let's get right into it. We're given there that in the diagram below, uh, DCB is equals to uh, alpha and AC is H as well as um, H units, that is, and uh, ACB is equal to theta. Right, now they say to you, determine the size of ACD in terms of alpha and theta. Now, if you notice, uh, we're looking for angle ACD, which is, right, let's go into this diagram so that we can see it clearly. So it is this angle over here, right? So in this case, I want you to note the bigger angle is, alpha, uh, is theta, right? And this smaller angle is alpha. So clearly, if I want to get this angle here, I will simply say theta, the bigger angle, minus alpha, the smaller angle, and that will give me that angle ACD. So that would be theta minus alpha. That would be the size of that angle. Right, now let's go to the next one. They say to you prove that AD is equal to H, the sine of alpha minus uh, 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 theta minus alpha rather divided by the cosine of alpha right now we're going to apply in this case our our sine and cos rule but we need to check first so where is ad ad is over there and it is one of the sides in triangle acd right so we are working within this triangle acd right so we want to find, in this case, an expression for, a, uh, for AD. Now, notice, we've got the angle opposite AD, that was theta minus alpha, and the angle opposite that. We want to express it also in terms of H, but what is the angle opposite H in that triangle? Well, that's angle D1, right? So we don't know what the angle D1 is, but we can find a way to express it, right? So if you notice in this triangle, triangle CDB, right? That's a 90 degree triangle. And I know that this angle over here is alpha, right? So what does that make angle D2, all right? So if you notice that angle D2, that will be 90 minus alpha. Or otherwise, you can use the external angle or rather the exterior angle of a triangle, right? So that angle D1 is the exterior angle of triangle DCB. So remember, the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the opposite interior angle. So D1 would be equal to 90 plus angle DCB. So it would be plus alpha. So I can say that. So in triangle uh, DCB, right, I know that D1 would be equal to angle B plus angle D, C, B. Uh, that's D, C, B. All right. And in this case, why is that? This is the exterior angle of a triangle, right? So that means that D1 would be equal to 90. Remember, B is 90 degrees and D, C, B is equal to alpha. Right, so we can express that as 90 plus alpha. Now, we've got that angle D1. We've got the side opposite that, which is H. We also have angle ACD, right? And the side opposite that is AD. So let's use our sine rule. 
right? So we're going to say uh, AD. And by the way, there's absolutely nothing wrong whether you start with the side or the sine of the angle. It really is neither here nor there. So I'm going to say AD, which is this side, divided by the sine of angle ACD. will be equal to, right, so the side H, that's side AC, so this will be AC divided by the sine of angle D1, or we can say ADC, right, that's our angle there, right, so I'm looking to find AD, so I'm going to first, right, so sine ACD, so uh, sine of ACD, remember we said that's our angle, that's alpha minus theta, uh, or rather theta minus alpha. So the sine of theta minus alpha is equal to AC, remember that's the side that's equal to H, divided by the sine of ADC, so that's the sine. ADC, remember, is that D1. And we did say that D1 is uh, 90 plus alpha. So that would be 90 plus alpha. All right, so we can cross multiply there, right? So that means that AD is equal to H, the sine of theta minus alpha divided by sine of 90 plus theta. Now, I want you to please remember when we used our reduction formula, right? So, 90 plus theta would be in the second quadrant. How is sine in the um, second quadrant? Sine is positive in the second quadrant, right? If we use our cast uh, rule, right? So, sine is positive in the first, in the second quadrant, Right, but remember that whenever we've got 90 or 270, we change into our co functions, so that will be the cos right of alpha. So, in this case, that's exactly what they said we need to prove, and we definitely have proven it. Okay, so there it is. Okay, so they say to us, determine the length of AD if H is 17 units right and theta is 58 and alpha is 23 right now ladies and gents all we're simply going to do is substitute into what we got so 7.2.3 right i'm gonna try and squeeze it in here so ad would be equal to um so h they said is 17 units so that's 17 the sign of Right, they said theta is 58, so that's 58 minus alpha, which is 23, right? This is divided by uh, the cos of alpha, so this is the cosine of 23, right? Okay, so uh, all we need to do here is just simply uh, put that in our calculator, right? So that's 17, the sine of 53 minus, uh, rather 58, minus 23, okay, and that's divide by the cosine of 23, right, and I get a value of AD to be 10.59 units, right, so please remember they didn't give us any specific units there, so I'm going to leave that as units, right, all right, so that is what we get for the value of AD. And then they say to us, calculate the area of triangle ADC. Right, so now we're looking at ADC, right? This bigger, uh, the smaller triangle over here. Now remember that whenever we do that, we are going to use two sides and an included angle, right? So we just found the side, or rather, we are given side AC, okay? And side AC, they said to us, is H, that's 17 units. But we just also found side AD, which is 
in this case, um, we just found it to be 10.59, right? Now, if we're looking at those two sides, which one is the included angle? It is definitely going to be the angle uh, there, which is the angle uh, CAD. Now, remember, right? Now, let's find that, that angle first, right? So, we know that this angle here is 58. Remember, it was theta minus alpha. So, that's 58 minus 23, right? So, um, what does that give us? That would give us 30, uh, that's 35, right? Okay, so that would be 35 degrees, all right? And then we know that this angle over here we said is 90 plus alpha. So you remember 90 plus, uh, in this case, alpha, that's what we got that angle to be, right? Our alpha is 23. So 90 plus alpha gives us 113, right? So now to find angle CAD, right? That would simply be, right? So let's find, uh, so let's say D1 plus CACD. and plus that CAD, right? This is equal to 180. These are sum of angles in a triangle, or you can say the interior angles in a triangle, right? So that means that CAD would be equal to Right, so that would be 180 minus 35 minus 113. Okay, so let's find that angle quickly. Uh, 35 minus 113, and that gives us 32 degrees, right? So now we can use our area rule all right, so remember that the area of triangle ADC would be equal to half, right? Remember the two sides that we have, that's AC multiplied by AD, right? And this would be the sign of angle CAD. Okay, right, so that's the sign of angle A, right? Uh, another way that you could have found angle A, remember, we knew what theta is, right? So it would simply be 90 minus theta as well. So that's another, in fact, that was more easier to, uh, to get it that way, right? If you look at triangle A, B, C, right? So all we need to do now is just substitute, so AC would be, um, H is 17, right? AD, we found it there, 10.59. Okay, and this is going to be the sign of, uh, apologies that I'm going to have to squeeze this in here. All right, so this is the sign of that angle, which is 32. And all we simply do, ladies and gents, right, is just, uh, to simply calculate that, multiply it by 10.59, the sine of 32 degrees, and in this case, we get 47.7. That's the area. So our area is 47.7 uh, degrees, uh, rather, uh, sorry, units squared, right? So that's units squared. So those are square units because we're dealing with area and essentially ladies and gents that's how you would get to that uh, answer right very interesting question and i hope that you got it okay right otherwise ladies and gents we will keep having more and more of these all right for all of you my grade 11s please look out even on our website for our future camps 
right? And all our programs that are running at the awesome Lungisinkosi Medicine Science Center, right? Based in Haniju. Otherwise, from me for now, I will see you guys again next time. Shop, shop.